Oh, happy day because I got a box here with not one, not two, but three, three pairs of boots today. Yes, I've been waiting on these things. Come on. Um, so um, the first one I'll show you is just a standard. I, I picked it up because it was um, a deal way too good to pass. Um, I'll give those a full review later, but it is uh, the Tan Ramuda. Um, tan, tan Ramuda Real Sub Mercedes Roper. So you know that I have the rough out version. This is the smooth version of that. So that's what's here. We'll do, we'll do a review on that later. The two other boots, which I'm extremely excited. So Red Wing has come out with two pairs of boots. We'll go back a little bit. Red Wing has come out with two pairs of boots that I thought were pretty spot on. There were the 4328 Climbers beautifully made boot I was, that was one of my favorites i think that was in 20 i can't remember it was like 2019 maybe when those came out uh those were or 2019 2018 those were my favorite boots to cut that red ring released the second that i really thought um were quite creative and cool were the um pecos that were through eat dust they had a really cool campaign they actually did a camp really good campaign for the climbers and the eat dust if you've seen the video uh, they have a guy walking around, even set the boots on fire. So I would say Red Wing, um, creating those two boots in collaboration with, with uh, Indigo Farah and Eat Dust, probably the two favorite releases that they've done in a, in a long while. Okay, so you guys know how much I like the Beckman. I love the Beckman. This one's a bit dirty because... I took it with me to Vancouver, as soon as we get this in focus. I took it with me to Vancouver. It was, uh, I took two pairs of boots, these and uh, Real Super Mercedes Ropers, and this is why they have like lots of mud on them because these were my dog walking boots in the park and in the beach. And I'm showing you this Featherstone Black Cherry Leather because of the quality and one of my favorites, because it's a really versatile color, being black cherry, you can wear it with pretty much anything. The Featherstone Beckman leathers. So, what we did, what we got ourselves into, I created the Pecos in the black cherry red wing leather. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Not only did I do it in black cherry, but I did it in the chestnut as well. What? What is going on? So we have two new Pecos ready to go in the black cherry and the chestnut, both Featherstone leathers. This is ridiculous. I'm telling you, if Red Wing's not gonna make cool boots, I'll make cool boots. <laughs> and so I added, if you look closely, I did on a, on the side, well, I did a turquoise on the chestnut, and then I did a green on the black cherry. Now you may say, oh, why did you do that? Because I am a B-A-M-F. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the, of all the custom boots I made, these are pretty much the same standard where, with the heel is like an inch and a, I think it's an inch and a half leather, a leather um, sole, outsole, 13 inches on the shaft. And uh, it's a nice round toe, no toe bug, and just a pretty simple, no stitching, and just pretty simple like Red Wing would do. If you look at vintage Red Wing, um, Pecos, it's pretty much how this boot is made. Um, th except they, they never did leather, they did some, um, I think they did chemi gum on the, was it chemi? I think they might have been chemi gum. And they do a composite heel, which I really don't like. I like a leather stack, so that's what I have here. So yes, very excited, I was like, 
get you some of this. No. <laughs> so yes, very excited. It took a it took a while to uh, get come together, to get made. Um, I had these were made with a belt. I do have a belt, a black cherry belt somewhere around here. But these were made. They were shipped and they got lost. So somewhere in the states, there's a pair of these floating around. But uh, yes, I'm the only one who owns. Uh, I am the only one who owns Pecos. I should say, I'm the only one who owns Ropers in Featherstone in Red Wing Featherstone leather. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like I said, if Red Wing's not going to make cool boots, I'll make them on my own. Then, you know, what did they make? They made like a, an Iron Ranger with a crepe sole, so you're walking around looking like a Frankenstein clown with that stack. So, yeah. Get you some of that, son. Let's, uh, let's do the on feet. One thing that I wanted to briefly mention was that the Red Wing 1472, this vintage Pecos, was the inspiration for what I wanted to create with the ones that I did. So if you look at this one, you look at the build of this, it's lovely. They did a, an amazing job on this. And this one is leather lined. So they actually, I'm, I don't know the year yet. I can't remember. I have to do some more research, but the quality on this particular Pecos is outstanding. Uh, we have a Kemi gum sole on this with the stacked heel. So it's very sturdy, very tough, definitely could be used for work. And also with this leather quality, you could just shine it up, dust, take the dust off with a brush or a rag and head out uh, to dinner or to a bar. So um, Red Wing knew what they were doing when they built this one and this was the inspiration and then everything that they've done after. They just haven't really made Pecos or they've been rough out it with a natural cork or they've done um, traction tread sole on some of the Pecos, but I thought this one was stellar. So that was the inspiration. If you look at this one here, using the Featherstone leather. Oh, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> so you can see the inspiration. I wish I knew the name of this leather, but I don't. I, I, te I uh, tweeted out to Red Wing, but they sent me a chart and I have to look at that. Maybe I'll pull it up um, in the edit, but Look at these, oh, black cherry. Amazing, okay. I wanted to show you guys that. I haven't done a full review of these yet. I don't know why, I've kind of been waiting on that, but I do wear these quite often, and when I do, I get um, a lot of compliments, but I can't wait to throw these bad boys on. <laughs> Here we are with the on feet, and this is the black cherry. I'm wearing a pair of chocolate chinos from left field i absolutely love these chinos uh, i wore them quite a lot while i was in vancouver i only took a pair of jeans and these for three weeks so uh, i'm really digging i love the the way that these chinos look with boots and so i'm showing them with the uh the chocolate and the black cherry together which i think is a really slick combination just want to show you guys how these look on feet they feel really good obviously they're stiff because they are brand making new and that uh, the heel I, I can feel where, you know, I will have to break in and put my weight into that. But um, I can't wait to look at it. I'm trying to look at the monitor, but it's a little hard to see right now. But I am loving these. Black Cherry Featherstone Ropers. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Look at these things. And I don't know if you can see that pop of that color on there. I'm sure it shows up with that uh, green on there. Oh, man, that's so, looks so good. Okay, let's put on the chestnut and see how those look. I mean, come on. Seriously, look at these. <laughs> this is crazy. I, I, I love the chestnut. It's such a really... It's just a cool leather. The color is amazing. And I have um, the 9013s, which I wore ridiculous. It was like my summer boot that when, I, when I first got those, and I beat those up. And so the leather, the, the cool thing about Featherstone is that 
it ages. It's a, it's a dress leather, so it ages really nicely. You won't get like a super, super kind of like patina going on, but you'll get some nice creases. So for this to be in a, uh, a roper, it's kind of like, I guess you could be dressy. You know, I could wear these and <laughs> these are amazing. I, I'm kind of curious what these will look like with some denim. Um, cause I, I love the way the, the chestnut looks with, with certain denim, but oh yeah, I knew it would look good with this chocolate. It's just like the combination. And then I wonder if you can see that the turquoise that I had in there on that side. Oh man, these are so sick. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. All right. It's time to go show these bad boys off. I couldn't leave you guys hanging without showing some, uh, some denim on the chestnut. Look at that. Ooh, man, summer is going to be lit. <laughs> yes, so these are from uh, Leftfield Denim. And this is, I believe, the Chelsea Fit with the chestnut Featherstone leather looking absolutely amazing look at that i'm ready to go man <laughs> i'm ready to go let's do this so that is the custom ropers in the red wing featherstone leathers black cherry and chestnut thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time with some more boots some more jackets, some more hats, some more something. Be a boot. See you guys next time.